Job 21679. This is a revision for the Encompass Early Learning Center in North Bend. All right. So Encompass has got the approval to do this workout here, but there is some changes that need to be made. Uh, mainly, it's the asphalt. Okay, So we're going to talk about the changes that are going to be made. The main change is going to be patch number four on the four customer sheet that we provided in our bid. It says that we have placement of 19 by 13 and 19 by uh, 12, I believe, or something like that. We're going to reduce the placement of these to 19 by 10 for each in order to stay within the 2,000 square foot and add on this ramp that we have to put over here, we're going to have to change the size of this. And I believe we can change the size of this because this we're, the whole goal is to um, overlay the asphalt key cut on the edges and also fill in the landscaping here. And I'll show you that here in a second. This area over here stays the same. It's a 21 by 6. That stays. This area over here, this patch is a 20, or this is a 43 by 18. This is patch number one, or re, asphalt number one. This, oop, this stays, but I'm going to provide some extra details to it. This over here is a bid option. This is number five on the four customer sheet that we provided in the bid. This is going to stay on the bid as it is. Uh, this is good to go and it's approved. This over here is what I need to show you. I also need to show you where we need to add uh, one more ADA stall. So we're going to have to shift some things on the striping here. And then we're going to have to cut into the asphalt or the concrete sidewalk and create a ramp that goes up um, on the sidewalk here. Okay. So I'm out here at the property at Uncompass. Currently, we're at 1,941 square feet. And by adding this asphalt ramp over here it puts us over 2,000 square feet so we have to make an adjustment all right so this 21 by 6 of asphalt stays the curb that we plugged in that stays right here when we go to do the striping um, this cross hatched area kind of goes away because a majority of it's going to be that asphalt taper that comes down so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to keep the ADA stall here we're going to put a cross-hatched walkway right here and we're going to put an ADA symbol right there and then just a regular stall. One thing, two things we need to add um, and we need to add the, this um, probably um, in the, we might be able to put it in landscaping so that we don't have to go through the asphalt. But if we're able to get the shrubs trimmed back a little bit, we can put a handicap sign with a round post into the landscaping right there so we need to add that um ada stalls they need to have ada signage and i don't think we'll be able to put it up on the building so we'll have to put on a round post there and then same thing here when we create this as an ada stall we need to put one ada sign on round post in the landscaping right here okay so that's an addition on this bid is to um create one more ada stall put cross hatching in and add two ada signs on round posts in that location the concrete sidewalk uh the ramp here being that this will be ada uh cross hatching we need to remove that wheel stop right there and what we're going to do is we're going to salvage that wheel stop and we're going to use it over there okay so i'll show you that here in a second salvage this wheel stop and relocate it over there. All right, so what we need to do here is we need to cut the concrete at this location here, and we need to create a ramp that goes out. So in order to do that, we'll have to go from joint to joint here, okay? Um, it's the best way to do it because there's already a joint here. We're not gonna want a saw cut in the concrete right here. We're gonna to wanna to take it out to here. This is four foot wide. That's a 14 by four, okay? 14 by four, 
and what we do we saw cut that and what we do is in order to create this uh slope here actually hold on okay i'm backing up on my statement here so we are going to saw cut the concrete here we're going to have to so right about where this stall line is here we'll saw cut the concrete here we got to create a landing that's right here okay so we'll create a normal ada compliant landing and then we'll have to saw cut approximately from that location where the landing is we'll probably have to come out about seven feet okay um actually no we won't we'll probably only have to come out from the landing we'll have to come out six feet yeah i believe that's it okay so that being said if we saw cut right here at the white line okay if we saw cut right here and make this um edge of concrete here it'll be a step down we don't have to make it a ramp because we don't have to provide access that direction but we'll saw cut here six inch depth and we'll have to remove this direction okay so it's 14 feet by four feet so we'll have to make two saw cuts one there one there we have to create a landing down at the far end here and then create our ramp that goes up okay so 14 by 4 we create that ramp so that uh, wheelchair access can make it up to this location we either do that I'm, I'm saying this on the video now because that's gonna be what I'm going to bid this as is doing that or our other option is we don't cut into that and in this cross hatching we create a cross hatched walkway that takes us over to this loading zone the only problem with that is is i'm afraid this is not a good area to run people in wheelchairs into when this is a drop-off zone so this is why we are adding concrete uh a concrete ramp there so just know that when we take out the six inches of concrete we're also going to have to take out four inches of dirt underneath the um, concrete right there on the landing. Uh, so that way we can pour four inches of concrete and then create that ramp, which goes up to six inches tall. Okay. So we need to add that in. All right. Now moving on to this. These are 19 by 10. Okay, 19 by 10 and 19 by 10. We're changing this on our bid from the 19 by 13 and the 19 by 12, I think it was. We're changing this to be 19 by 10. And we're tapering that asphalt down and key cuts are being made on the outside so that we can run the asphalt flush. Okay, so we can run that flush. All right, um, that wheel stop I mentioned that we want to remove and salvage we are going to use it over here on this broken wheel stop, okay? So in this area, on the bid, I told you it'd be uh, 43 by 18. It's still going to stay 43 by 18, okay? Uh, we'll keep it at 43 by 18. Um, correction. I believe we're having to change this to 43 by 17, not 18. Okay, so 43 by 17. These wheel stops will get moved all the way out to the asphalt edge. So that way the cars will hang over the wheel stop edge and then be into the grass. Okay, so wheel stops will go to the edge. Instead of angled parking, three stalls here, we're going to go straight in parking because there's enough room to back up out onto this roadway. So we're changing this to five parking stalls now, not three. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna make these eight foot wide. We're gonna salvage these wheel stops, move them back. And then we're gonna get rid of that broken wheel stop and use the one that was over there for this stall. We're gonna paint them all yellow when we go to do all the striping. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna salvage that wheel stop and use it right there. Okay, in this location here, this stays the same. 
these are the four by two asphalt um, pieces that we're putting in right where the drains are. We're creating channels through the curb island. And now it's gonna end up being one, two, three, four curb islands here because we're creating channels at all three locations where the pipes are, putting asphalt in, and then we're capping off each island with a little bit of curb on both sides. That's already in the original bid, that stays. This is uh, the addition, the asphalt addition. This is a 40 foot by four foot, two inch uh, depth asphalt path we gotta put in. So we gotta take out two inches of gravel, 40 foot by, 40 foot by four foot, 40 foot by four foot, remove two inches of gravel, pour in two inches of asphalt, and go all the way out to this asphalt berm, which you see right here okay so that's now going to be an asphalt pathway up to that concrete 40 foot by four foot two inch depth this over here was a bid option on the original bid um i believe it was 21 feet by 20 something can't remember number five on the four customer sheet this stays this got approved so that's going to stay on the bid as well as the striping. The seal coating, the striping, the curbing, all of that stays on the bid um, like it was. That's all the same, okay? All these asphalt repairs are the same except for we're reducing that to 17 feet, not 18 feet. That stays. That new 40 foot by four foot asphalt walkway goes in. This gets reduced to placement of 19 by 10 feet and 19 by 10. We add one ADA symbol. We add uh, 50 feet of uh, four inch white cross hatch here in this stall that I'm parked in. We add ADA sign on round post, ADA sign on round post. We take that wheel stop, we move it over there, and we cut out this sidewalk, and we create an ADA ramp that comes in here. Right now, it's uh, within 2% in all directions, so we're okay putting the uh, ADA ramp here with the landing at the bottom. That should do it.